It's tough to come up with funny jokes. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very tough. I, I didn't like that joke as well. But will you, let me try this one, okay? Go ahead. <laughs> Halle Berry was injured on the set of her, her new film when debris from a smoke grenade, grenade lodged her in her eye. Barry says she hopes this will inspire more black actors to get eye injuries from smoke grenades. That's good. Topical? Not quite topical, but still, uh, kind of. I get the thing, the play on the uh, thing. She did a great job. Yeah, she was great in that movie, yeah. and it did a great job on the Academy Awards too. Is that it? Yeah, the monologue's over. Wow. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Late world is on. Welcome, friends. Is it is it okay to actually call the uh, my audience friends? I'm sorry. I'm listening uh, to the Indians on the uh, radio. I'm a big Indians fan. I'm from Cleveland. Yeah, I, under I understand yeah. that. What did you ask? Uh, oh, f <laughs> uh, we have a wonderful show tonight. We have a. W All right, he scored. Tome, he's my man. <laughs> We have a wonderful show tonight. Uh, actor and comedian George Lopez will be joining us, everybody. George Lopez. It would have been great if he could have come out and done the monologue. That is really, that would have been uh, in replace I, In replace of you? No, no, no. That's good. I like that. I like that. <laughs> and of course, all night long, Mr. Fred Willard is uh -huh. here. I'm very excited. Uh -huh. I, uh... I, I uh, recently, uh, yeah, fans yelling your name. That is great, but I'm not. I'm not here. Please, I'm just here to monitor the show, and just give my whatever the input is worth. Okay. Recently, I had the pleasure of interviewing Cameron Diaz, Christina Applegate, and Selma Blair about their new movie. You've heard of? You've heard of those actors? Absolutely, all of them. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at that interview. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zach of Late World. I'm here with Cameron Diaz, Selma Blair and Christina Applegate from the movie The Sweetest Thing. Thank you for joining me. What's up, y'all? <laughs> uh, can I ask a question? Sure, go ahead. Do you think that this movie, The Sweetest Thing, has uh, a certain appeal to uh, men? Yes, I do. How so? <laughs> grabbing. Yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> grabbing. There's some tight pants, midriffs. Very Have nice. you seen the movie? Yeah, I loved it. What did you like about it as a guy? As a guy, I liked the low-cut dresses, the <laughs> booby grabbing. Okay, good. Uh, it was a lot like the play. <laughs> <laughs> We've probably heard comparisons to uh, something about Mary all day long. How oh is this God. movie different from Kramer versus Kramer? <laughs> Selma, you are uh, uh, an equestrian, and you've done some uh, show jumping. Yes. Uh, how difficult was it to play a character who doesn't ride a horse? <laughs> It was difficult. Um, and I <laughs> riding elephants is a whole I other had, thing. And so that's why Roger had to add the scene. There is a scene where I'm riding an elephant. Cameron, you have worked with a lot of many great actors and actresses. What is your phone number? <laughs> it's 323 469. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Please keep going. Just do it. Just do it. That's good enough. That's all I need. I, I'll, call, I'll, I'll call it ten times. So, but you collect uh, black and white photography, right? Mm, yes. I, I read your bio, so I got you that. Oh, you need to show it. Oh, I Aww. love this picture of Sinbad. Uh, Christina. Apples as an opera date. Oh, oh, where's the gate, buddy? Yeah. I, I can take pictures. Cam no, the camera. Camera for camera. You really do what? Do one with your name? Yeah. Blair, but Blair, hair. Blow hair, Blair. So I got your blow dryer. Freeze my <laughs> What's your language? Selma Blair, what's oh, your language? He asked, quit taking pictures of me. Applegate, you, I like you're my favorite. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Give it back, give it back. Uh, that's gold. That is pure gold. You dumbass. Oh, you dumbass. <laughs> I'm having a good time. You want to date him. What's <laughs> you? You want to date him. You want to date him. Uh, Hey, look at me, I'm a monkey. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks a lot for talking to me. It was really, really enjoyable for you. That was nice. They're all particularly Carmen uh, Diaz, uh, disarmingly charming. Very charming. Yes. Much like yourself. Thank you. Much like much. yourself. The Sweetest Thing opens April 12th when we come back, the multi talented man named George Lopez. All right. This movie might be a little mature for you, but I think it's more important that you learn that not everyone out there is a nice person. What's the movie? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> I queued it up to the educational part. <laughs> Thank you, George. Thank you, George. George, Fred Willard. What's up, Freddie? This is Fred Willard. Good to see you. Are you a baseball fan? I love baseball. How about Barry Bonds this He's year? He's unbelievable. He's fantastic. He's got 14 home runs already. He's been three oh, games. <laughs> he might break 80. I don't know. Anyway, I understand you got a show. I have a show at... Wow, uh, do we have a clip? No, we just... <laughs> Fred, we just, we just saw one. Oh, God, I could kill myself. I thought you were going to pretend you weren't here. Uh, no, but I, I was just so excited that you're sitting there. Because remember, we met about a year and a we half ago. We met a year ago at the Aspen Comedy Did you Festival. know you had a series coming up then? Uh, you know what? I didn't. Right. I was plucked from the uh, obscurity. Do you mind if we talk about it here? Absolutely. Ask him some Tell questions us, okay, about okay, the show. I will, I will Mr. You don't bring the guy like that on and then I, I, have him sit there with I, a, you know. I, I understand. I, understand. I, apologize. I apologize. Uh, tell us about your show. It's great. <laughs> you know it's what great. it is? Yeah. It's, it's uh, you know. It's the first uh, family comedy involving a Latino family since, uh, you know, the real McCoy sp spun off Pepino. <laughs> uh, and do, I, do, excuse me, do you have to be uh, um, knowledgeable in Spanish to, to understand the show? You know what we've done for the bilingually impaired, Fred, yeah. is that we've... <laughs> we, have it in, we have it in Spanish on that SAP. You ever do that? No, I didn't know. And, and, and With the subtitles? or No, it comes off in Spanish. Great. And if you ever want to trip out, like, get high and, and put on Cosby... <laughs> And you put on Cosby, and Cosby's in Spanish. He's like, Tío, ven pa' acá, porque tengo... You know. you never, you've never done that. I've never done that, but I've been, I was on the Paul Rodriguez show. Do you know Paul? Absolutely. He is funny, and what he would do <laughs> is talk to you, interview you in English, then speak to his Spanish-speaking audience in Spanish. You know, he was talking we, about the people he was interviewing. That's right. <laughs> we digress. Don't let a man like this sit here. Talk to him about his show. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand. And I'm sorry I, we didn't I, have a clip, but I, I've next heard Next time I'll bring one. I heard it's a I great understand. show. I understand that uh, Sandra Bullock is Sandra Bullock executive is an producer. executive. She found me in the clubs, Fred, of all You're the places. Kidding. She was watching late-night TV and saw for that for 39 cents a month, she could sponsor a Latino kid. <laughs> and, uh... They found you. She's fantastic. She San is. Sandra yeah, that's Bullock, good, that's uh, good jokes here. Yeah, that's good jokes, yeah. <laughs> Don't let him sit here like that. He's a major talent. He's got a serious <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I apologize. I apologize. How were you discovered? Uh, so <laughs> I don't want to ask these questions. I'm not even here. Ask the question. I understand. Can I? All right. Uh, you have a comedy CD. Uh, oh, I have a great CD. Called yeah. Right Now, Right Now. Called right Now, Right Now. Tell us about that, please. Right Now, Right Now is a term that we use when you want to ask people for help, but you but you want to trick them. Like, what are you doing right now, Zach? And you'd say nothing. And I'd say, help me move my car because i got to fix the transmission. And then you'd say, right now, right now? <laughs> oh, I see. I got you. That's the... That's the that's, that's, um, it's, it's the Mexican no. I want to... Uh, I, I want to know. <laughs> I wanted to ask, uh, uh, are you related to um, Jennifer Lopez? You know what? I'm not. Oh, no, I was actually talking to Fred. Oh, oh stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to pull the old switch You know what? On. I'm not, although we do all look the same. <laughs> 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 no, you know what? I, I, I'm not. But we use that whole G-Lo, J-Lo to promote the show. Right. You know, and I put a dress on, and my ass actually was smaller than hers. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we love big asses. Yes, we. 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 See, Fred. now this is funny stuff here. Yeah. Well, if you could, if you do the show again, come out and do the monologue. Because this guy is great. <laughs> but no, I'm serious, he's great. But if, when you do those punchlines, that's really yeah, what makes you it. Could you come by and do Absolutely. that, maybe? I'd love maybe. to come but back. Come on, just maybe pre tape a few intros. Uh, I'd love to. Now tell come, us about the your show. On what, what is it called? It's called George Lopez. All right. Because the Mexican was burned up by Brad Pitt. So we, uh. <laughs> we, uh you know. The George Lopez Show Absolutely. airs Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. on ABC. George Lopez, everyone, yeah, please. Guys, Stay, thank you, George. Stay, thank you. Stay with us, and we will return more with Fred Willard. Freak it on down. Let me see that booty bounce. Booty bounce. Thank you.
everyone. I'm, uh, I'm here with Fred Willard, and he's doing some consulting on the show. And I'm, I hope I, I didn't get in the way. I love the show. Thank Can you. I give you some um, constructive advice? Y yes, sir. I hear the music. I don't see a band, so it, I guess it's tape. I thought you had musical guests all the time. Well, we, we sometimes do. Well, it's a handicap if you don't have a band or an orchestra, uh, like the old Tonight Show. You know who is hot again after all these years? Tony Bennett. If you can keep him away, he'll come on and say, left my heart in San Francisco. Please, Tony, I'm up to hearing that. If you can get him to do something Something modern. new. Yeah, I love Enya. She is wonderful. Um, Enya would be a great, uh, great person. Hank Williams III, I have not heard him. I think here he kicks butt. He does some punk stuff, some of stuff. His grandfather, you know, is Hank Williams Senior, the original. Right, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Any, cold, cold heart and all. Yeah, any other, any other notes? Um, did you play a tape of my show? I'm on a show called Maybe It's, M Maybe It's Me on the WB. <laughs> Friday nights. I think we have a tape. Let's watch that right now. Can we roll that tape? <laughs> that was very nice. Well, actually, um, since you are consulting, maybe you would want to interview me and show me how it's done a little bit. I'm not even here. No, I'm just here. To uh, no, no, you are here. Okay. And uh, you want to, you want to like uh, maybe switch seats and do oh, this? God, okay. Put an anvil on my head here. All right. Um, Zach, you have a new show. I have done a lot of shows. What of my shows, which one is the, your most favorite? <laughs> or, not even a show, if you just pick out a moment, like if you remember anything particular. I thought you were great in Schindler's List. <laughs> you know, that is the offbeat sense of humor that a lot of people don't understand. Um, <laughs> why, if we could get a George Lopez, to come in and sit on the piano and punch up some jokes, do some jokes. Right. Well, you're not really interviewing me right now. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm stuck for questions. Would you like a piece of my sandwich? There's one question. And secondly, what is your first choice when you go into a fast food uh, place? What do you ask for? I like a sandwich, a turkey sandwich like you're having. That is a turkey. Yeah, uh, it's very some, good. Maybe some tomato. And what now? Where do you go from here? Oh, uh, I just, after the show, no, I... No, I mean, when this show is, uh, God forbid, canceled. <laughs> George Lopez, he said he would come in uh, and do this show standing on his ear. He said he would do it. Right. Yeah. And I can't wait to see that segment of his show where, uh, what do you say, Brad Pitt burns the Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> he left kind of quick here. I want to say goodbye, and he says, later, man. Oh, that's what he said to you? Yeah. Yeah, you haven't really asked me a question uh, All right. I can answer. Where, uh, where did you come from? Uh, I was a stand-up uh, from North Carolina. Let me ask you this, and I mean no insult. North Carolina? Yeah. All right. Um, of all the talented comics, how did they pick you to be on this to host this show? And I mean that in the best sense. I you must be proud as hell. Yeah, I understand. Um, it was between me and Gallagher's brother. <laughs> Wait, side note on that, Gallagher's brother, you know, he's, Gallagher is suing his brother, gave him the rights to do his own show. This is true, and now he's suing his brother. Very bright man, Gallagher. He's, not, he's very underrated. <laughs> he is. He's an underrated comic. But now, uh, did you have to beat anyone out for this? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Huh? No, I just... Uh, just That's was always easier if they just come and hand it to you. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> are, are there any other notes that maybe you want to give me? I'd like to see more structure on the show, and yet still have it fresh and uh, kind of improvisational. Uh, like, have they know the monologue, and then know that when a guest is going to come out. But then... Let people maybe be surprised by who you're going to have. And have more visible guests, ones who are bigger profile, and yet don't pander to the public taste. Get some offbeat people maybe we haven't heard of. For instance, I think I mentioned uh, Hank Williams III. Have you thought of having him on? I don't think he, he would come on unless he had five or six pieces to back him up, unless you're going to fly him out here from, from Nashville. Well, Tony Bennett works with no less than 26. <laughs> You gotta have a 26 piece band. Don't laugh through your nose like me, like that at me when I talk about Tony Bennett. If you can keep him away from that goddamn, I left my heart in San Francisco, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I understand. I Say, understand. Tony, have you ever done another song? <laughs> it's like, who was the guy that did Blue Slide? I'd like to thank my guest, uh, Cameron Diaz, uh, Carl Se Perkins, Selma Blair. <laughs> like Every time Carl Perkins was on the show, he would sing <laughs> "Blue Suede Shoes." Now Elvis kicked butt with "Blue Suede Shoes." Yeah. But Christina Carl Applegate. Perkins wrote it, uh, and I'd yet like to thank he would them. never do a show without doing his damn "Blue Suede Shoes." I'd also like to thank something called Matchbox. George Lopez a, for being here. He was wonderful. And uh, Fred Willard, of course. Fred Willard. Thank uh, you. Uh, Mr. Willard, Mr. Willard, 
uh, would you mind uh, demonstrating the proper way to do promote tomorrow's uh, show? There is going to be a tomorrow's show, definitely, because I was upstairs and I heard... <laughs> All right, keep your fingers crossed. Tomorrow night, it's a special hour of music and comedy. Question mark with the music. I don't... Is it this canned music or do you have live people? And we call the best... We call the best of late world. Now, I could do a cheap joke and say it's going to be a very short show, but I, I mean it. This is a wonderful show. <laughs> I love uh, it. That's I love night. it, and I hope I'm... I'm Thank you, Fred. Thank you um, very much. Well, it's the end of another long, long, long day in Hollyweird. <laughs> Hollyweird. That's funny. Yeah, thank you. See, that wasn't uh -huh. bad. La La Land. La La Land. You know, uh, Fred, this is the, the point in the show where we, we, we say goodnight to people at home. We kind of talk a man with a little speech or True a poem. True story. When I was in New York, starting out, <laughs> I was in an acting class, and a guy from 20th Century Fox came down. He was going to watch our showcase. So the next day, to make a long story short, I get a call that he wants to see me in the office of the old 20th Century Fox, which at that time I was on West 57th Street, about 9th Avenue. So I'm saying, I just got to New York. What am I going to do? Am I going to leave New York and go to L.A.? Because I figure he's going to offer me a contract. I get there, and what does he say? He says, I enjoyed your work very much. Let me know when you're in something else. Now, there I am, feeling like a fool when I'm in something else. Now, true story, about a year later, I was walking down 42nd Street, and I hear someone say, Fred, how Good night, you? America. And it's the guy. He's in front of the Dixie Theater. He's hawking a burlesque show. I couldn't believe it. Here I was sweating that he was going to get me apart. Oh, tell me more about this guy.